There we are guys, nice. Well, it wasn't too busy day today, but uh, the Jaguar is finished, it's advertised, it's up for sale on my Facebook page. Um, I'm going to create it on a few more platforms as well. It's come up really nice, obviously it's got the all new discs and pads on the front. It's cl certainly cleaned up very well. A couple of little touch-ins done. All nice and clean inside too. It certainly looks a lot of car for the small amount of money that I'm asking. Look at that. And in the front as well. I always like to use decent quality cleaning products and I think it pays off. Just look at the finish on that. Everything is working as it should be. I think the current retail price was 3800 3800 I've put this up for 2995 an absolute bargain it drives absolutely superb everything works i'm locking in the uh, windows now so i had to spend a bit to get them sorted it's just had an air conditioning regas and as you can see i am busy you haven't seen this car yet it's a citroen c4 a car i have done a video on a few times different ones of course not this one as this one is a little bit different well it sat around for a while my mechanics been on and off on and off being a bit busy being a bit ill being on holiday but this one is an automatic and as you can see it's also filthy as well but um diesel 1.6 litre automatic don't get me wrong i'm not telling you that these are a good automatic gearbox but it's automatic a lot of people are after these with the low running costs and it's especially especially paired with a diesel engine the car's got free tax free road tax what a selling point that is so not only are you um you're getting a cheap automatic you're getting a nice spacious family car with an automatic gearbox it's not without its marks um it has just been in for a fault which has now been repaired tyres are all about four millimetres there's various little scuffs on the car like this that's just a cobweb because it's been sat it does need a very good clean and i think it'll come up really well tomorrow but all this should polish out what's this bit here that's just a bit of dirt it has been sat at my mechanics for probably about a month now we didn't really know what route to take with it our tyre's got a bit more on it and um, basically it overheated on the way back from Harrogate well on the way back from BCA Leeds got as far as Harrogate and then it overheated from there it was okay I just, just drove very carefully along with the lorries and it made it back my mechanic's been on test drive and he's got to overheat a few times and we've been scratching our heads a little bit really um, what did it get? I wanted him to check the thermostat that was with some really weird symptoms it was working sometimes on a roundabout it was um it was all right at certain speeds so we had the thermostat off well he had the thermostat off looked into and all that and it turns out after all this after a bit of research thank you very much to the car dealer group on facebook um some cracking advice on there it's not all bad what you read online got some really good advice and now we have replaced the water pump obviously along with the timing belt and it's good it's all good i think there's one of them stupid kits there you go it is a filthy car but you can see underneath all the dirt it's 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 not a bad car either condition wise there's a bit of polishing to do there's a couple of little dints on that door i don't know if you can see on the front there but it'll make a cracking family car for someone and it's probably going to be asking around the two grand mark for it very little money for a diesel automatic being a c4 it'll be sensible on insurance as well it's only a 1.6 litre diesel it's a little bit up on the miles but not too ridiculous there's a bit of history with it it's doing 139,594. but as you can see it just needs a really really good clean look at all this here it's just mainly dust and that it's, it's not going to be too difficult to clean i think a little go over on these seats will really transform it so i'm going to do that tonight but the car really good little runner actually 
but not a bad car VC falls there you go there's not wrong with that is there I will be doing a final road test on it in the morning put a bit of fuel in it of course and make sure that it is a hundred percent and I am happy with it before it goes on sale after that's a case of a valet it's had its service time but water pump off it goes well yes it really does need a good clean inside and out we'll give it a good machine polish as well uh, it's very hard to see it especially in in the garage here well, it's a lovely lovely color we'll try and look beneath the dirt it's a very high metallic there you go you can probably see it a bit better now it's like a navy blue i wouldn't even go it's, it's not gray definitely not it's like a, a really metallic navy blue but like i say we'll get it all cleaned up tomorrow i may attach some photos but if not that will be on my facebook page which is lccs trade cars darlington we'll give these a good buff as well the headlights they make a massive difference to a car i find and we're also going to get a fresh set of number plates made up for it because they just look a bit old got a massive stone acre sign on there it's obviously been traded from one of their sites at some point but yeah I haven't showed you service history ever. It was very little. I don't know if my mechanics stamped the book, but I've got an invoice for timing about water pump. MOT till about, I think it was February next year. Was it ended? Yeah, something like that. We've only got four stamps, but steadier away, isn't it? <laughs> Better than none, I guess, isn't it? But the main thing is, the timing about water pump's been done. It, this car will be ready to go. And if you can find me a cheaper, nicer looking, better spec diesel automatic for less money put me onto it so i'll go and buy it all right but yes the jazz have been busy with that in the end i did replace the rear brake discs myself as you can see there they've all been replaced but a nice tool set from my local auto parts place come out really really nice I haven't got as far as cleaning it yet the citrons obviously the main one to do tomorrow but i have got the brakes working good not sticking anymore there's a couple of seeds sliders and pads in the carriers too and um i have got the door all apart took the mirror off there you go so it's just ready to bolt the new one on tomorrow but as you can see someone has been making a little mess and it wasn't me well that bit probably was it's a bit dusty in the floor in here but um yeah and they are not my footprints so basically someone came here for the first time today bless him and made his presence known you could say had a little run about and found the open door of a honda jazz and i think it's fair to say a love affair was started because he didn't want to listen to me i'm going to attach a footage of that because i personally found it absolutely hilarious i think he's just fell in love with a honda get out come here Come here. Get here. Come here now. Get out. Reggie. You're not old enough for Honda Jazz. Oh, his son, turn the music down. Turn it down. He's been running round and look where he's ended up again. Look, Reggie. Do you, do you want it that much? For you, I'll do it for a grand. Hold out your hand. There you go, Delt. It's hard to be angry with him when he looks at you like that, isn't it? But anyway, that's his fun had. I finished chasing him round. Well, not chasing him round, getting him out of the jazz. Just need to clean it up now, don't I? Get all the dog hairs out of it and whatever else. Shouldn't be too hard to clean up. It's a nice velour type seat, as we seen yesterday. But uh, yeah, this car will clean up well. I just want to get the mirror done first. Got that all uncovered. Get it all done at once. That being the main priority for now. Anyway, just a short one today. Just want to give you a bit of an update. See where we're at. Show you the C4 because you haven't seen that one yet. Um, it obviously did overheat on the way back from Leeds, but it's all sorted, double checking that in the morning. If there is any further updates, I'll let you know, but hopefully we're all good. Anyway, thanks again for watching.
nice to be doing a couple of videos, a couple of days in a row. But uh, if there is any more interesting content I can get hold of, I'll get it on there for you. But most of all, I just wanted to show you a dog in the jazz because, oh, let's face it, that was absolutely hilarious. Thanks very much, guys. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Take care now. Bye-bye.